What's up guys, it's ZTizzle, and today I'm doing a commentary over some Chaos Mode gameplay. So today I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks for the new mode, and my personal opinion of the new mode. So, right off the bat here you'll see my starting route that I run pretty much every time. I grab the UMP here to the left, then I run and grab the ACR, and then I grab the MP7 up on the hill. And the reason I do that is because it gets me a lot more points, because I want to end up with the MP7, because it's a great gun for this mode. It shoots fast, it's got a ton of ammo. And uh, it gives me a lot more points than if I just ran straight and grabbed the MP7. And it also gets my multiplier up. So the basic thing you need to do in Chaos Mode is get as many points as you can. And how you earn points is by basically doing anything other than just running around. By killing dogs, killing enemies, killing juggernauts, uh, picking up uh, the dog tags that any enemy drops, and even picking up a new gun. And each of these things give you a different amount of points. Uh, killing a juggernaut or doing something more impressive gives you more points obviously and the way to get your points really up is to get your multiplier up as you can see mine's at 38 39 40 and this is how much points you earn uh, like it multiplies how many points you'd normally earn by that so right now I'm earning 46 times the normal amount of points I'd be earning 47 49 so the way you do that is just by getting points and the green bar above it is what makes you have to keep running around and killing enemies. If that goes all the way down, then your multiplier reset. And the way that your multiplier works is whenever you get it up by 10 each time up to 70, it gives you a new perk or a new ability. Like right now at 70, I just got juiced. At 60, you get fast health regen. At like 50, you get uh, steady aim, and you get the point. And to keep it up, you have to kill an enemy or even just injure an enemy. You don't have to kill the enemy if you just shoot them like much about to run out, if you just shoot an enemy, you'll see here, uh, if I just shoot, shoot this guy, it keeps it up, but I don't have to kill him. But you also, you see I just went down, you have three last stands, and occasionally these care package crates will drop in, and they give you great things like uh, freeze, if you see in the bottom right hand corner, if I press to the right, it'll give me a freeze, and that what that does is it pauses the green bar above the multiplier. It makes it so, like, if I want to run and grab a crate or just get away from some enemies and not have to shoot them, then I uh, can just get away from them. And the other crates you'll drop is uh, 5,000 points, and it's not just 5,000 points, it's 5,000 points times whatever your multiplier is. So right now it would be 5,000 times 150. And this is really good because it can give you up to, I think most I've ever gotten, about 2 million and just a 5,000 point drop whenever I was getting about 200 or 300 uh, times my normal score. As you see there, I used the freeze, grabbed that last stand, because I knew uh, the last stand is basically the best uh, best care package drop, because it gives you uh, more chances to live on. And other things that can drop you is a sentry gun also, and a th 60 seconds extra time. As you can see, my time did run out, but because I've still got my combo running, it will keep the game going. As long as I keep the combo going, then the game will just keep going. As you see here, um, another tip I have is when you go down, if there's a juggernaut near you, just keep shooting the juggernaut, because you can't die when you're in last stand, unless your times ran out, and, uh, unless the times ran out, and your combo runs out. So if you just sit there and keep shooting the juggernaut, your combo is going to stay just fine, and it'll do a lot of injury. It'll do a lot of damage to the juggernaut. As you can see here, I grabbed the sentry gun. The sentry guns are not that great. They're more of a distraction than helpful because you can set one down and the enemies will go after it instead of you. As you can see here, I sneak right up behind them because they try to kill the sentry gun more than you when you set it down. So it works good if you just like need to grab it and get out of there. You can just grab the sentry gun and set it down and then run away and they'll focus on the sentry gun more than you. And as you can see here, I went down the... I can go down one more time, because at the bottom, there is one more quick revive up there. And also at the bottom, there is armor, and whenever you go down and like pick yourself back up or whatever, you do get more armor. But uh, another way to get armor is by killing the juggernauts. Whenever you kill a juggernaut, they drop, instead of a yellow dog tag, they drop a red dog tag. And whenever you pick that up, it gives you more armor. And here's a great thing to do, whenever you can see that basically all the enemies are behind you and none of them are in front of you, I like to just run away, and if I need like something like this extra time, I'll run and grab it. 
and you can just run and grab the new guns, and it'll keep your multiplayer up there as long as you don't let it, as long as you don't take too long to run somewhere. And you can just do that and run away from the enemies, regain your health, you know. What do you need to do to keep going? And here, if you want to get a good game, you want to get your multiplayer up to about 300. Uh, if you get it up to there, you're going to be getting a lot per kill, you're going to be getting a lot per weapon pickup, a lot per anything, basically. Here mine's at 295, 297. 8, and there it is, 300. Uh, and I knew that I needed to run away here because my armor had just ran out, so I figured I better run away from the juggernauts because they would kill me pretty quickly. And I've only got one more quick revive left, so I can't really waste it. So there's not really much more to say. Just be sure to keep your multiplier up, and that'll get you a lot of points. And whenever you go down, as you can see here, I see the Juggernaut, and I tried to kill him, but he was too far away. I figured I'd probably lose my multiplayer somehow. But here, I know I need more armor, so I just hammer him a bit and get the armor. So here, I'm doing the same thing I just now said. I can, I can see that there's only one enemy in front of me, so I'm running away, grabbing each weapon. And if you've not played this before, just play it a few times. Uh, not Don't try to get big points the first few times that you play it. Just try to get the feel of the game, how you play it, uh, the location of the weapons, and uh, here, just a little tip to the right, there's claymores right there in front of me, but you're not really going to be using the claymores or the C4s because they just take too long to pull out. If you want to use a freeze and pull one out, you can do that, that'd be a good tip. But other than that, it's not really a good idea to try to use them. If you use a freeze and there's a lot of enemies right in front of you, then that'd be a good idea. But other than that, it, t it just takes too much time to pull it out. But as you can see here, I'm running away again, picking up these weapons. And some of the weapons do have, well, all of them have extended mags, I'm pretty sure. Um, but most of them have a, another thing, like the stri this striker doesn't have anything, or the UMP. But a lot of them have another thing, like the ACR is a red dot and extended mag, so... And two of the weapons that I know of, the M4 and the FAD, they have a grenade launcher with them. And it can be very helpful, but, um... I've got a gameplay, I don't know if I'll upload it or not, but... I was at 18 point, like, 3 million? Uh, it was about here, actually. Point-wise, but... I had the M4 and I shot it at that car right there because I thought it hit someone and it didn't hit anybody. And then I had to switch weapons and um, it just didn't work out good. Here you see I pick up the FAD, just trying to kill these juggernauts. I think I go down here just a bit, but I, my final score is yeah. My final score is 19.3 million. Not the best, not syndicate status or anything, but it's pretty good. It's my high score and the highest score of all my friends. So thank you for watching and comment, rate, subscribe for more tips and tricks like these. I'm going to be doing a few tips and tricks for Modern Warfare 3, so thanks for watching. Hey guys, also be sure to check out the video on screen right now. It was a game of zombies I did with some of my friends, and it turned out pretty awesome. We got to a high round, and in the end... Uh, we had an unfortunate downfall, but uh, be sure to check that out and click below it to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't believe the trap. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna about to die. Okay. All right, I think we should go. Dude, I have seven thousand points. <laughs> okay, then you get to open all the doors. Yay. Now I need to open the first door, and then...